The Ninja Foodie Smart XL Grill. Is it worth your money? Let's find out. Stick around. Yo guys, what is going on? This is Michael and this is a practical review. Today we are checking out the Ninja Foodie Smart XL Grill. Uh, this is absolutely my favorite kitchen appliance that I own and you will see why here shortly. Uh, first of all, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Uh, typically what I do is specs and features of the product and then I'll do a demo of the product and then I'll give you an overall rating of what I think of the product. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. First things first, no, I am not sponsored. Uh, all these opinions are my own. I do not get any money from Ninja or anything like that. Uh, this is just me kind of doing reviews to help everyone out that's going shopping. That being said, I do have Amazon affiliate links down below if you want to see what the latest as pricing is, uh, you can click on that link down below. Now the Ninja Foodie Smart XL Grill, this is the generation one. Now there is a generation two, which I'm actually really happy there's a generation two out because it even lowered the price of the generation one even more. Uh, I believe before it was like $250 or so. That's what I picked it up for. I've had it about a year now uh, and now it's down to like 180. Um, so I think this is an amazing buy for 180 and you'll see why in a little bit here. Um, there's also 12,500 reviews on it and it's got four and a half stars, uh, obviously well vetted through uh, by the grilling community or the indoor grilling community anyway. Um, quick features about it. Uh, it's got six cooking functions. It's got the grill, air crisp, roast, bake, broil, and dehydrate. I'll be honest, I really only use the grill part of it. Sometimes I'll use the air crisp part of it for like fries or tater tots or something like that, but mostly I use the grill part of it and I do use it about three times a week. Um, it's got a smart cooking uh, thermometer, which is the heart and brains of this grill over here. Uh, that's by far the best part. It takes absolutely all the thinking of grilling out of the equation. Um, and again, you'll see one in a little bit. It's got an XL surface area, which is nine by 12 inches, which is good enough definitely for an apartment. Um, if It wouldn't cook for like a whole family, uh, probably. A family of like five or six, probably not, unless everybody only wants one piece of chicken. Um, but for a couple or you know a few people that would absolutely do and it's got a smoke control system now again this is one of the main features of the indoor grill is that it ventilates the smoke and there's hardly any smoke if any I don't I I, I don't see any smoke coming out of this thing ever um, that being said my my smoke alarm is very sensitive and does go off even when there's not smoke inside of the house uh, so it has gone off a couple times, uh, but there is no smoke. Uh, it is absolutely smoke-free. It advertises as smoke-free, and it is smoke-free. It does a very good job. Uh, maybe once I've actually seen a tiny bit of smoke come out of it, but mostly there's nothing. Uh, it comes with a grill, a grill grate, a, a crisper basket, which is this guy right here, a cooking pot, a smart thermometer, a brush, which is kind of garbage. Uh, I would recommend getting your own brush which is this guy right here. Uh, this is the brush that I get. This is the brush that I use. I got this, I believe, from Target. Um, if I can find anything like it on Amazon, I will go ahead and link down below so you guys can check that, check it out as well. But I love these three little pronged uh, brushes. Um, and so we'll go ahead and get to the pros of it. Pros feel super premium. Uh, it is a very solid, very good product. Uh, when it's cooking, there's not a lot of sound. The touch, uh, buttons work well and they are intuitive. Uh, it is a very uh, set it and forget it kind of uh, thing. You just put the steak in, put the needle through and it's good to go. Um, after It has an after countdown timer, which is cool because uh, what it tells you, it says that it uh, cooks it up to uh, about three minutes after it's done cooking is when it reaches the correct temperature on the inside. So it stops it a little bit beforehand because me, as everybody knows, continues to cook even if you take it off of the grill. So when you it, it calculates that, which is actually really cool and actually creates like a perfect kind of uh, consistency in there. Um, it's consistent cooking. Uh, the wellness level is pretty accurate. Um, and you'll see a little bit later on uh, what the wellness level is. Um, it's easy to clean with the
the right brush. You have to make sure you get the right brush. Uh, almost no smoke again, and a simple meal in 10 to 20 minutes. Um, if you include prep time, it's 20 minutes because it's got to heat up, but once the meat's on there, uh, it only takes 10 minutes. Um, some of the cons is that it can get a little loud. I mean, it depends. If you have it like in a corner where all the sound's vibrating off, um, but it's not very loud. Like it's, it's not intrusive at all. So I wouldn't say that, you know, that's a deal breaker. Um, warm up takes, uh, as long as the cook time, it takes 10 minutes basically to warm up to the temperature it needs and then 10 minutes to cook the food. Um, so warm up a little bit quicker warm up would be nice, but again, it's not a deal breaker. Um, you have to do, you do have to make sure you stick your thermometer in well, and I'll show you that in a little bit, uh, when, um, we get to the, uh, demo. Um, it doesn't become smart unless you put the thermometer in it. Uh, otherwise, it's just a grill. So you can operate this thing without the smart thermometer, uh, but then it's just a regular grill and you have to kind of watch it like you would a regular grill. Um, and also the uh, thermometer can have kind of a short... Uh, it's not terribly long. It's like a foot and a half or something like that. It's it's not super duper long. Um, I'll go ahead and pull it out of here. But yeah, that's how long the thermometer is. I wish it was a little bit longer um, just because where I have it in my kitchen, it uh, it sits on the wrong side of where I prep the food. Uh, but in any case, it's not again, it's not a deal breaker. Uh, we'll keep going down. Yeah, so this is generation one uh, on the top left and the bottom right is the generation two. This is the newer one that came out. From all accounts that I've seen, it's pretty much the same exact thing, just a brand new design, um, which is kind of a cool design, but they charge an extra like 70 bucks for it. So I would say for the $180 that you can get this grill for, I would say, let's go ahead and do that. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the demo now where you guys can kind of see the uh, food getting cooked here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook some steak for you. All right, so uh, on the right side of the grill is where you will find the smart thermometer. Uh, basically, it tucks in right to the corner there, which is actually really nice. You never lose it or anything like that. You take the uh, MP3 jack, you put it in the right-hand side, and that feeds and tells the grill uh, what the temperature is. Now, once you put it in there, you'll get a preset on the right. Uh, it's a smart preset. You hit the grill, and then on the left-hand side, you could tell the medium level and the wellness level and on the right hand side is where you can choose beef chicken pork what uh, anything like that so i'm gonna go ahead and hit the timer just to show you guys but we're gonna be working with two new york steaks some traeger prime rib blend and uh, some kinder's the blend seasoning really really good through that on the steaks um, this is the part where you want to make sure that you pierce through the center of the steak and you get it nice and deep and as level and flat as possible. You want it to be able to read the entire temperature of the steak and that's how you go ahead and do it. So you can see at about 11 and a half minutes is when it hit its uh, ready to add food um, and then it clicks at you says, hey, put food in me now. So I put it in there. I like to pat it down to make sure I get the sear marks uh, from a normal grill. And then we just put it down and then this thing's gonna do what it does. Uh, when it gets up a little bit higher, uh, it's gonna ask you to flip. So at 93 degrees for my three medium rareness temperature, it says go ahead and flip. So once it got to 93, we're gonna go ahead and flip it and listen to the thing. Uh, that's at about 18 minutes now. So that was about six minutes of cook time. We're gonna go ahead and uh, turn it over. And man, look at those grill marks. <laughs> it's making me hungry all over again. Uh, it's such a good, it's such a good food. Uh, th this grill is really, really amazing. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and fast forward a couple minutes. That way we get to the uh, end of the cook time. And now it tells us to get the food. And you know what? We're gonna go ahead and listen. Uh, we're gonna open that up and just take one more look at the steaks here. And it is amazing. It works super well. They look delicious. You take them off, throw them on the plate there. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and let them rest for three minutes. Uh, once they're off the plate because again they're going to continue to cook and it took about 22 and a half minutes to from start to finish uh, for this which is not bad so there's the three minutes there we're going to take the steaks to the other side and we're going to cut right into it just so you guys can see what the cook on the inside looks like and doesn't that look delicious now it's not quite medium as as rare as i usually like to have it but man that is really really good it was a delicious, delicious steak. Um, we're gonna go ahead and plate that steak, throw some broccoli on there, which is what I made, as well as some rice. And now we have a good looking meal in front of us. Got some protein, got some vegetables, got some carbs. Man, this is a delicious, delicious meal. 20 minutes for a premium New York steak. 
Uh, again, I can't tell you how good this thing is. It also does chicken. Uh, so I made some chicken with it as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the chicken just to see how that goes. Um, yeah, so same thing. You're going to go ahead and get, hit grill. On the right-hand side, you can change to chicken, to pork, to fish. On the left-hand side, you're looking at the medium, the wellness level. Uh, we're going to go back to chicken. There's only one level for the chicken because there's really only one acceptable, acceptable temperature to cook the chicken. We're going to go ahead and throw the thermometer inside the chicken as well. The chicken is seasoned in some like ranch kind of dressing and some spices. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add it. I believe there's six pieces of chicken that I threw on this guy. So just because I wanted you guys to see how much it can actually fit. Um, now, six pieces did fill it to the, fill it to the brim. Um, and then it got to 121 degrees, which is where it wants you to flip. So we're going to go ahead and take it. And it looks really, really good. You're going to flip it. You can see those grill lines. Um, just like an actual grill outdoors and uh, we're gonna fast forward to the very end it's 170 degrees for chicken and that's what the chicken looks like I mean come on that that is a grilled chicken indoors in about 20 minutes uh, including the heat up time so good such a good this is one of the best purchases I've ever made I'm not gonna lie so we're waiting for the three minutes and now let's go ahead and cut into the chicken and see how it looks and that is a perfectly cooked chicken perfectly cooked it I, I love it because it sears it on the outside and it, it keeps all the juices it's nice and wet and uh, it's so good such a good grill i mean i can't say enough good things about this grill i know but for 180 dollars and uh, all right well, let's just go ahead and move on to the cleaning because it's got to be a nightmare to, to clean right i mean there's no way it could be that good well let's go ahead and look into it so this is how I go ahead and clean this. Now, this isn't necessarily the best way or, you know, the way they tell you to do it, but this is how I do it. I go ahead and pull the grate out after uh, it's cooked. I put it into some warm water. I let it soak for about 10 minutes. And then once the soaking is over, I give it a little, a little jig. That way it can get some of the oils off. And then I use my good old handy brush over there to the side. And I'll just go ahead and do some scraping. Uh, once you scrape, you know, it very easily comes off. I'm not scraping very hard or anything, uh, and it very easily comes off. And then usually it's ready to go right there. But for the video, I wanted to clean it even more because it does heat up and get to hundred degrees. So I'm not really worried about bacteria or anything, but for the video, I wanted to clean it a little bit more and give you guys a deep thorough cleaning and which is what you should do every month or so. Um, so I got and push that off to the side, got everything out. And here I just use some paper towels cause I don't want my kitchen sink to get a bunch of, uh, grease in it. So I just use some paper towels to go ahead and lift out all the fat and the grease and the charcoal and all that stuff. Wish around a little bit, put some water in there to finish it off warm water. And then I use another paper towel to go ahead and finish out the rest of it and then just dry it off and it is good to go. And there's that pan. Uh, you clean off the top and uh, the outside, make it look a little bit pretty. <clears throat> and there you go. You have a fully clean, fully functional, ready to use again, Ninja Foodie XL Grill. Um, again, I can't tell you guys how good this thing is. It is it is a very, very good grill. It's one of my favorite purchases that I've made. Definitely my favorite in the kitchen. Uh, and it makes me eat healthier because now having a healthy steak and vegetables isn't a crazy thing and, and it saves you money as well because you know a new york steak at a nice restaurant is going to cost 30 40 dollars uh this guy's 180 and you can have unlimited steaks <laughs> um anyway so obviously as i'm sure you guys can tell i'm giving this thing five stars this is one of the best purchases i've made uh, i would highly recommend it to anyone who's looking uh to up their home cooking game without and, and make it as convenient and easy as possible um again that's why i love this thing it's I pop it in i don't have to do any thinking i just wait for the grill to tell me to flip or not flip and hey i'm done um, anyway, guys, appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, I did notice we got to 100 subscribers, which is super awesome. Um, I'm very happy and proud that we got to 100 subscribers. Thank you, guys. I do this all for you. Um, if you're interested in the grill or the brush or anything like that, there will be links down below so you can see the cheapest pricing on it. And yeah, anyway, thanks for watching so much. Appreciate it. And uh, have a good rest of your guys' day. See you later. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. Really appreciate it. If you found any of the content useful, please hit the like button down below. Also down below, there are going to be links to all the products that you saw today. Uh, they are Amazon affiliate links, so it really helps out the channel when you guys click on those. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all the good things. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it and uh, have a good rest of your day.